Fences, which are made of metal or wood, need to be checked thoroughly for solidness. If a metal fence is being evaluated, check the concrete footings to see that they are still sound and support the fence's weight properly. Check for rust or any type of corrosion that could destabilize the fence in the future. The metal railings should not have any rust present. Here you can see a metal railing that is completely rusted through. Wooden fences should be checked thoroughly because they are prone to termite and dry rot damage. Check the individual posts for soundness. The fence plank should not be installed in contact with the ground. This fence is likely to deteriorate rapidly due to its constant exposure to water. A fence installed too close to the ground will allow water and dirt to come in contact with the base of the fence. Such contact promotes structural decay and could become a safety hazard. To check the structural condition of a fence, gently push on the fence to see if it moves. This will indicate whether the posts have rotted and need to be replaced, or if the footings of the fence are too shallow and do not support the fence's weight correctly. Look over the entire fence for any signs of insect damage to the individual pieces of wood, or if there are stains from water damage. If the wood looks like a dried piece of fruit, then there is a problem. Check for small holes in the wood. Often at the base of the fence you will see what would appear to be crushed pepper or nutmeg sprinkles on the ground. This pepper-like residue is from termites. If you can see this, then again stick a sharp object into the wood and check for termite damage. Here you can see live termites in a wooden fence. This is a major problem and does require the fence to be extensively repaired. Fences in a normal backyard can run many thousands of dollars to replace, so don't overlook these items in your inspection. The walls of a property help to control and organize any landscaping. These retaining walls can be made of stone, brick, concrete block, interlocking blocks such as keystone blocks, or even wood. Each material has its own benefits, drawbacks, and aesthetic. All walls that are inspected have the same basic features, first of which is adequate drainage. Water can build up behind a wall and cause a hydrostatic water build. A well-planned wall should be built on gravel with a perforated drainage pipe below. Weep holes along the bottom of the wall also allow water to drain properly. Walls should be level and not leaning forward. When a wall leans forward, it is because the structure of the wall is not able to support the weight of the backfill. Such a wall will require a brace and repair, so the wall does not fall down and injure someone. Many local governments require outside walls over three feet high to be permitted to ensure quality and safety. When you are looking at a new home, make sure to inquire about the legality of any addition to the property, because it is illegal to sell a home not complying with local standards. Masonry